I wanted to do a little bit of a quick example on how to kind of look at a phase diagram, write out all the kind of phases, and then uh, kind of identify some invariant points. So I'm going to say for congruent, I'm going to label that with a circle. For eutectic, I'm going to do a square. For peritectic, I'm going to do a uh, star. For eutectoid, I'm going to do a kind of symbol like this. And then for peritectoid, I'm going to do a uh, triangle. So I use different colors as well, but let's first start off with doing uh, kind of our filling out these regions. So this is ND at room temperature. So I'm going to do NDRT. So NDRT. This phase is plus ND5SB3. What about this phase? Well, it's solid, solid. So it's going to be NDHT plus nd 5 SV3. So actually, I'm going to kind of zoom in here for a second. So let's go ahead and zoom in as we kind of work on this problem. Yeah, here we go. That'll be a little bit more helpful. So here now, so this is my solid phase. And then uh, actually, in just in here, you could actually have uh, basically this is going to be a two phase uh, region of ND room temp plus ND, oops, excuse me, NDHT. So this little two-phase region here. So this is the solid phase, and then in here, this little region is going to be over here, liquid plus NDHT. So now we're in the liquid phase here. So these, all of these lines are my liquidest lines all around here. So anyways, we'll kind of go through here. So now what are the regions? So this is liquid plus, what region is this? So liquid plus is touching this line, which is, and the 5 sb 3 What about this region here? Well, this is liquid plus, this is liquid plus, this is liquid plus, this is liquid plus, and then now it's just going to be, again, each of these regions here. So it is going to be this plus this. It is going to be, this region is going to be this plus this. This region is going to be this, excuse me, over here liquid plus uh, this region right here as well because again this is what we're touching so this is going to be the two regions right here this is going to be liquid plus this guy and then here now we get into the solid phase region so this uh, region here and this you know space is just going to be this plus this this region is going to be this plus this this region here is going to be this plus this this region here is going to be this plus this so uh, you can kind of see where we're going with this and adding up the, and kind of drawing out these kind of phase diagrams. Um, so, and then finally, this little region is going to be liquid plus SB. So you can kind of fill out the phase diagrams and uh, kind of do it in a little bit of a similar manner. Uh, this one's a little bit of a tougher one to kind of draw out, but you kind of get the idea, hopefully, at this point. So I'm going to uh, erase this because now I want to be able to figure out... Uh, where are the invariant points? So a lot of times drawing this out will help me kind of identify the invariant points, but I've done it, when we have enough practice, you could really start to kind of see them without having to really kind of write out each of the regions. But again, if you're asked to on an exam, make sure you, you do so. So let's zoom in a little bit. So I want to first identify where are my uh, kind of congruent melting points. So I'm going to get my drawing function. So I have, I know at the edges, congruently melting here. I'm also congruently melting right here. Any other congruent melting points? Uh, just right here. So those are all my congruent melting points. So let's me, let me identify my eutectics. So my eutectics are going to be right here. Let me make sure that I have that symbol. Yep, eutectic, because I'm going from liquid to a two-phase solid region. What's my two-phase solid region here? It's NDHT plus this guy right here. So liquid to two-phase solid region. Any other uh, eutectics? right here and then also i have a eutectoid so i have a single phase solid region going to a two phase solid region so i think that diagram was a eutectoid was a triangle let me just double check that nope that's a peritectoid so i don't need the triangle i actually need my little diagram on 
like here. So that is a UTEC to OI right here, because I'm going from a single phase solid region to a new two phase solid region right here. Excellent. What about my peritectic? So what is my signal or symbol for that? Peritectic is this one right here, my kind of star function. So peritectic, I know that this is liquid plus whatever this solid region is here, going to a new solid uh, region right here. So here's a peritectic. Here's a peritectic. Here's a peritectic. So lots of peritectic uh, regions going on here. And that's pretty much it for the kind of invariant points in this phase diagram. So that's all that we're kind of, you know, working with and dealing with. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the invariant points here. And you can kind of look at, so we've labeled the invariant points, congruent melting points, regions, calculate the degrees of freedom at 20 SB and 2000 C. So let's do that. So 20% SB, 2000 C. So way up here. So we're in how many phases? D plus P equals C plus 1. C is always equal to 2 here. So what's our phases? We're just in the liquid phase. So P equals 1. So our degrees of freedom is equal to 2. So, again, it makes sense, right? I could change here or composition or temperature and still be in that region. What about at 50 SB and then 1650? So what about right here? 50 atomic percent. Well, this is actually a tricky problem. Uh, so where are my phases in here? So I'm in a liquid plus uh, this kind of solid phase right here. Uh, this NDSB, NDSB, but I'm also simultaneously uh, in this phase as well, this phase right here. So this is a tricky problem. So my phases in that point are actually equal to three. So this is an invariant point, but again, it's a very, very strange, not realistic invariant point. So my degrees of freedom are zero here at that point. Uh, what's the maximum solubility of ND and SB? Uh, what about SB? And I like this problem. So uh, ND, it didn't specify in, the, in a high temp region, but we know here that at this point, that kind of like edge of that, you know, eutectic, let's kind of zoom in a little bit to kind of give us some better perspective. At this point here, this is our maximum solubility. So if you go down, let's zoom out now. So if you go down, this is kind of our maximum solubility here. So about, you know, two atomic percent. So this is what? This is the solubility of SD, SB, excuse me, in ND. So the maximum solubility of SB in SD, oh shoot, SB in ND, excuse me, ND is two atomic percent. What about uh, NB, ND, excuse me, in SB? That's going to get right here. So it's about like, you know, kind of very similar. So ND in SB, that's like two to three atomic percent, a little bit higher. So I know probably that my diffusivity of ND is going to be a little bit greater than diffusivity of SB because this is a little bit, again, if I drew it a little bit clearer, I bet you we'd get into like another three. Whereas over here, I was being pretty generous on that. It's a little bit less, so probably like one. So there we go. And then I have a sample at, let's go ahead and zoom out, at 20 atomic percent SB and 1021 uh, degrees C. So let's go ahead and look at that. 20% here and 1021, which is right. Let's go ahead and draw that. Let me kind of erase here just to kind of clear up this mess. So I have a sample at 20% here, and it's at 1021 right here. So this is my sample. So that's my composition. So what phase am I in? I'm in a liquid phase plus ND5SP3. I'm going to call this like my alpha. So what's my composition in the alpha phase? Well, again, it's just this line right here, right? So it's going to be about, let's call it 37.5. What's my composition in the liquid? It's going to be over here. Let's call it equals to you know seven percent. So what's my fraction in the liquid? Well, it's going to be the composition C alpha minus you know, C naught. My C naught is equal to you know twenty, and then so it's going to be the opposite over here divided by the C alpha minus C liquid. What's my fraction in the you know alpha phase? It's going to be the C 
not minus CL divided by C alpha minus C alpha. There you go. You can kind of calculate the problems uh, and the fractions just like that. Excellent. So I'll see you in the next video. We'll do kind of another little quick example. Thanks. Bye.